So it's got 11 of those. I'm waiting for it to 15 satellites. The camera's not connected yet, but it will be shortly, I assume. There you go. No compass errors. They usually start right after I start it. Just wait a second. Hmm, strange, no error yet. Oh, but look at this. Home has indicated the wrong direction. Top right. Yeah, I'm just gonna. There you go. Compass warning. So, turn it off, and we're going to start a compass calibration. So it keeps doing this, and then it'll say GPS error in a second. That's an interesting process. <laughs> Brutal process. Right, let's see what happens this time when it restarts. It's important to note the colors that are flashing on the back. The purple. Yeah, the purple means it's uh, fine, and then the white means it's got enough satellites to do smart mode features. So, it is... It is, in fact, apparently fine for flight, according to everything that I've read. And we'll now start it. Again, the home mode is pointing the wrong direction and the compass warning comes up it's absolute bullshit again that's right what was it a few seconds after the motor's going yeah as soon as the motors start and you see the orange light on the back of the drone that orange means landed immediately I'm going to try restarting this to see if the error goes away. Let's... On occasion, I can actually get it to... Apparently it's 0.2 meters, 0.3 meters below ground right now. <laughs> oh, look at that, almost half a meter underground. So let's, uh, as soon as the camera starts, we'll take up for a flight. Hey, okay, camera's on, and there we go. Let's see if that works. The home, home was the wrong way again. Yep. Compass warning. Awesome. If you leave it with the oak motors going on, does it still go compass error? Yep. We'll see how long. It doesn't matter. It'll just keep giving this error over and over again. The good news is that this one at least doesn't take off by itself. Travel a kilometer under absolutely no control from the controller and smash into the ground. So I guess when it's all said and done, better to fail on the ground than in the air. Okay. Here's another awesome feature. If you notice, the GPS is on, and over here you'll see it's got 20 satellites and the position is actually not available. I will now turn off the GPS, and as soon as I do that, it actually knows its position, but it says GPS disabled. I'll turn it on again, and the position disappears. That's weird. It's very, very strange. This is one of the things I've been telling Unique is, that does not seem right to me. If GPS is on, why doesn't it have a position? And it's only today that I've noticed if I turn off the GPS that the position actually returns back to the system. It's kind of crazy, actually. It tells me it's probably just a softer glitch or the hardware is really buggered, but I don't know. Maybe somebody just mixed up how they programmed the software. So thanks, 